Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Vision IGCSE classes for IGCSE, GCSE, and IB students, student around the globe. Today we have a student across more than ten countries. So I hope you all are uh, studying well, re revising your concepts, and your exams are coming up thick and fast. So I hope you you all are uh, studying and revising your concepts. So today what we'll do is that we will just take a look at the IGCSE physics. syllabus and overview what you have learned how you can approach whatever the time left for your exam time okay so first topic is motion forces and energy you have to look at the basic concepts then units then formulas in each and every chapter you have to follow this straightforward rule then nextly thermal physics thermal physics understand the theory you have a what's a energy energy related formula and Uh, energy related two formulas are there e is equal to v i t e is equal to m c delta t this one so uh, this is these are the thermal physics related concepts so what's a boiling point melting point okay condensation freezing what's a specific heat these are the concepts are there and you must know the concepts i hope you must have prepared theory part okay and gone through the examples and here suppose if you want if you are appearing for the next year or next to next year then we have started classes if you want to connect with us i have left the contact in the description box you can connect through it straight away then nextly third topic is waves different different types of waves are there then what's the basic concepts then how to tackle the examples problems most of the cases you will get the problems right but in case of waves you can expect even theory questions then nextly electricity and magnetism electricity and magnetism purely it's a problematic problem oriented uh, chapters are there and you you must know the theory part and unless you know the theory part you will not be able to even solve the single question so i hope you must have gone through the questions if you haven't then go through it because you have enough time to revise all those concepts isn't it then nextly nuclear physics and space physics this is little bit new area but you can prepare whatever the topics they have given us fine and uh, if you want notes and things like that for the space physics new topic uh, you can contact us straight away we have prepared the notes i have given the my student notes and uh, problems so that they can tackle any kind of question from the igcsc physics paper so Uh, you have a core and extended so paper 1 and paper 3 are related to the core and paper 2 and paper 4 related to the extended paper how you can approach next whatever the time left for your exam you can you can go through the again concepts again again once again come back to the paper part solve the paper tackle the hardest or toughest of tough questions and suppose if you are not able to solve it then go back to the theory part okay revise it again come back solve it suppose still you are facing a problem say you and you can contact straight away i am here to help you during the exam times i pr generally prefer 24 by 7 to reply my student so that they can as good grade as possible that that's that's my aim so last year our all students got the a a star grade so i, I hope i am hoping and i am pretty confident that this year also they get the a a star grade so rather than wasting our time we will just tackle two questions so here we go so paper 4 may june 20 22 question number 2 question number 2 here so it says that the shows that water stored in the reservoir behind the hydroelectric dam here we have a dam okay this is dam structure completely and reservoir means water is stored and the water is passed through this pipe okay and here we have a turbine and here the generator which generate the electricity so what is the first question first question says that state state the form of energy stored in the water in the reservoir that is used to generate the electricity here the energy stored at this is height h isn't it and this height whenever something is stored at or at a certain height then it is generally gravitational potential energy okay that's a simple answer then nextly the turbine is 150 meter below the water in the reservoir the atmospheric pressure is 1 times 10 raised to 5 and density is 10000 kg per meter cube calculate the total pressure in the water 
at the turbine so turbine having two kinds of pressures are there okay so turbine pressure turbine pressure is equal to one is pressure from the for, uh, from the water water at a height 150 meter plus atmospheric pressure p atmospheric and pressure from the water is rho g h the atmospheric pressure is just a one times 10 raised to 5 pascal and here rho is 10,000 g is 10 times h is 150 plus here 1 times 10 raised to 5 and here you will get 15 times 10 raised to 5 plus here 1 times 10 raised to 5 so 15 plus 1 is 16 so 16 times 10 raised to 5 pascal will be the pressure fine and even you can write in the standard form 1.6 times 10 raised to 6 pascal that is also fine total pressure on the turbine okay so turbine having two pressure that is what main thing here then nextly so turbine has a cross sectional area 3.5 meter square calculate the force exerted on the turbine by the water so force is equal to pressure times area right so the pressure is 1.6 times 10 raised to and area is just you can straight away take 3.5 5 so force you will get 1.6 times 3.5 it's a 5.6 times 10 raised to 5 newton is the force you will get then next part is the water flows to the turbine through the pipe of a constant cross-sectional area explain why the kinetic energy of a water in the pipe remain the constant as it flows through the pipe and this is two mark question so how you can tackle this question so kinetic energy is equal to one half mv square when water passes through the pipe velocity will remain same why velocity remains same because the density of the water remains same so volume of water flowing through the water will be remain same that's the reason why the kinetic energy remains same okay so here just a two point you can uh, put, put forward here one is volume of volume over water passing through the pipe remains same and then it means that the density of a water remains same and then ultimately it lead to the velocity become the same and then the kinetic energy will become a remain constant we'll go through the one thermal physics related question the 5.1 figure this one the kitchen tap that supplies the instant boiling water uh, you can think of instant boiling water means it, it must be connected with uh, some kind of uh, electricity or some kind of heater okay so cold water passes over the electric immersion heater okay inside the tap and then the boiling water boiling point of water is 100 degrees celsius so state what is meant by the boiling point so boiling point temperature at which at which liquid is converted into liquid is converted into gas that's it okay so uh, the boiling point of water is basically 100 degrees celsius you can write it here fine these are the two point you can add here though so nextly the immersion heater is powered by the mains at a voltage v is equal to 230 volt when tap is opened the heater switch switches on and the current in the heater is i is equal to 13 ampere and the the calculate the thermal energy produced by the heater in the second so t is equal to 60 second so e we have to calculate energy is equal to v i t so v is 230 volt and i is 13 and t is equal to 60 so suppose if you calculate this whole thing you will get 230 times 13 times 60 which is 17179400 and you can write in the standard form right so 1 2 3 4 5 so it's a 1.8 times 10 raised to 5 joule is the energy you can write fine then nextly the specific heat capacity of water is 4200 joule per kg degree celsius then cold water enters at the tap is t is t1 is equal to 22 degree celsius calculate rate at which the water it's a boiling point emerges from the tap okay so you have to calculate here m per second okay we have to calculate so t2 basically it's a 
100 degrees Celsius we are getting right boiled water isn't it boiling water then we can use energy is equal to mc delta t and energy in we have calculated in first part which is 1.8 times 10 raised to 5 is equal to m times c is 4200 times t is 100 minus 22 and you have to calculate in the your calci you will get m is equal to 1.8 times 10 raised to 5 divided by 4200 times 78 okay you can cal calculate in the calci it's a rate is 0.549 but you can write 0.55 kg per second that's it fine so this is what the rate of water emerging from the tap then nextly here these are the two interesting questions so metal tap is earth okay and then there is a fuse in the cable that connects the heater to the mains fine and explain how earth wire protect the user so earth wire basically whenever there is an extra current the extra current is transferred to the earth that's as simple as that so yes the earth wire mean basically whatever the extra current is there it passed it to the earth that's as simple as simple as that then nextly fuse so fuse protect the circuit basically what's the main purpose of a fuse fuse suppose if you have extra current in the circuit again the circuit wire meltdown and it breaks the whole circuit that's the main purpose of the fuse and so suppose if you have a let's say extra uh, current in the circuit it melts the wire and then the circuit will break down right and that is what happens in case of circuit that's it okay that's that is what you can write here even so how the earth protect protect uh, earth wire protect the user basically suppose if let's say the current current cable is comes in contact with this heater or metal part then the it will it the metal will extract the extra current isn't it this extra current is passed on directly earth the wire okay that is what happens basically fine so so i hope you understood this uh, two questions and if you want to connect with us for a physics maths biology chemistry then you can straight away co connect with us i have left the contact in the description box thank you if you like this video share and subscribe to even our channel 